Hi, and welcome to the screencast, Five Awesome AT Tips. This screencast is meant to introduce students, parents, and teachers five ways to use assistive technology, or AT, to improve reading and writing. I just want to preface this with one note. Uh, some of these tools will work well with some students, but not so well with other students. I'm going to talk a lot about screen readers, for example, which may work well for a dyslexic student, but not as well for someone with audio processing disorder. So the AT game is all about finding the right tool for the right student. So let's get started with our first tool, the Apple built-in screen reader. To do that, you go to the top left corner and click on the Apple menu. And the fourth option down is called System Preferences. Go ahead and click on System Preferences, and you'll see a lot of choices here. The one that interests us right now is called Speech. We'll click on that. There's a whole lot of options here. Um, the one that interests us is called text-to-speech. Text-to-speech is when you have the computer read to you. Um, there's lots of choices for uh, voice. More importantly, there's lots of choices for the speaking rate, and you can preview that with the play button. Most people recognize me by my voice. Um, other options are one called set key. Now, this is the button that you're going to push to get the computer to read to you. Out of the box, it's usually some obscure key combination, so at school, we try to choose something the students are going to remember, and I encourage you to use something like it, which is like Command-R for uh, read to you. So I'm going to set mine to Command-R and hit OK. So every time I push Command-R, it'll read to me. And that's it. That's a, that's, we've just set up our uh, text-to-speech. Now, let's go ahead and use uh, text-to-speech in two very, very useful ways. The first task that we're going to have our computer do is read a website to us. It's a very, very common task for a student uh, reading a website. So I'm just going to pull up any old website. I pulled up the Obama Wiki. And um, let's say, this is kind of hard. There's some big words in here. And I could use a little help reading it. So the first thing you do is you select a paragraph that you want it to read. And then it's as simple as pressing Command-R. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Obama is a graduate of Columbia Now to stop it, University. you push Command R again. So I pushed Command R again, and it was that simple. I pushed Command R, and the computer read to me what was selected. I pushed it again, and it stopped reading. Now, a second task that uh, we're going to want to do is have our computer read our English papers back to us. It's a very, very common task. Oftentimes, a student can't see their error, but they can hear their error. So we're going to pull up an English paper. Let's pretend that um, this is an English paper. And again, I want to have the computer read it to me. Uh, I select what I want it to read with me. I push Command R. Introduction. And there you go. Please don't take notes. On a PC, if you have a PC at home, not a Mac, uh, as far as I know, there is no built-in screen reader, but you can um, get uh, third-party software and install it. I think Free Natural Reader is one thing our high school uses, and it basically does the exact same thing. You just have to install it. So that's it. That's the built-in Apple screen reader. We're going to move on to tip number two, which is reading websites uh, with Read Out Loud. Um, there's a big advantage to Read Out Loud uh, over the built-in screen reader because it has what's called a bouncing ball, and we'll, we'll show you that in a second. Um, so basically, this is just another um, screen reader. Um, read Out Loud is a software my school uses. Um, there's many other uh, programs out there that do this. This is just one of them um, that have a bouncing ball. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Read Out Loud. It's a little purple icon in the bottom of the screen. And as it pulls up, you're going to notice one thing. It's going to look a whole lot like a browser, like Firefox, like Safari, because um, it kind because of, it, it is a browser. Um, it's got a back button. It's got a forward button. Um, any website with a lot of text, that's why I'm choosing Wikipedia. It's got a lot of text that I can have read to me. And auto, right out the bat, you're going to notice a big advantage over the screen reader. You're going to notice the bouncing ball. V uh, low readers... Um, have really struggled with the screen Apple built-in screen reader because there's no bouncing ball. They have a hard time tracking the words. Whereas with this, it's much easier to track the word. So we're going to select the paragraph we'd like read to us, and we're going to push this button right here, which will read it to us. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii, Obama is a graduate of Columbia University. Notice the bouncing ball that's helping me with my tracking. Where he was the president of the Harvard Law Review. Push it again to stop it. Stop. So there it is. Uh, I've got another screen reader this one time with a bouncing ball. Um, and the one thing you really want to note, if you want to change the speed, you go to speech, 
and you go to voice settings. Uh, and from there, just like with the built-in screen reader, you can settings. change the rate of it, faster or slower. You can also change the voice and such. So that's it. That's how you get a, a website read to you in Read Out Loud. Read Out Loud, by the way, has many, many other features. I'm not going to talk about them right now. I think its most powerful feature is, is reading websites. But let's talk about a way that it can, uh, we can get this suite to, um, to read uh, English papers to us. For that, uh, the tool that I prefer to use is called Write Out Loud. Send if you click write. right here in this little pencil, you'll open up Write Out Loud. You actually have to name Save the as. file that you want to um, call it. I'm just going to call this Delete Me. I push Save. And here I am in Write Out Loud now. So I was in Read Out Loud. Uh, now I'm in Write Out Loud. Write Out Loud is a word processor. Um, it's not my favorite word processor. The kids don't uh, like it particularly because the spell check's not that good. But it does one thing very, very well, which is read back what you've written. So what the kids usually do is they'll write it in a word processor that they're used to, like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, and they'll paste it into here uh, to, to have it read to them. So let's go back to my English paper. Let's select it, copy it, paste it here, and again, all we're going to do is have it read back to us by pushing this button here. Introduction, please, Don. T take notes, unless it will help you learn. So again, I'm, I'm having it, my English paper read back to me in right out loud, and I get a bouncing ball now. Okay, we're going to talk about the Kindle Touch now. It's $99 at the Amazon.com store. It's got one great AT feature, and that's the text-to-speech. Click on the top of the screen to pull up the menu. Click on the menu button. The bottom op option is called Turn On Text-to-Speech. And it's just going to start reading to you. There's a volume button right there. There's a pause button right here. I'm going to pause it. There's three speeds. That's one great, great thing. There's fast, medium, and slow. I'm going to put it on slow. Um, I'm going to push play. The only bad thing is you can't really, you lose control of the Kindle, so you can't turn the page anymore. It just reads and reads and reads, and it turns the page automatically. All right, let's talk about uh, two awesome iPad apps. Um, I think the best uh, writing app out there, uh, or one of the best, is called Dragon. It's a free download. I'm going to click on it now. And it is uh, speech to text, so you talk and it types. Push the record button uh, right there. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I tap the screen again to stop, and look at that. It nailed it perfectly. Uh, after you uh, talk, you can send it out by clicking this button here. And there's a bunch of ways to get it out off of your iPad. You can email it to your computer and uh, use it with Word or Google Docs. Um, you can copy and paste it and do a and if you like, if you prefer prefer to write, write on your iPad, copy it into Pages or some other iPad app. So that's very 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 slick writing application. Let me talk about what I think is one of the best reading apps, and that's Read to Go. Uh, it's this app. It's a twenty dollar app. It's right here. Read to Go. I'm going to tap on it. Um, this is the app written by Bookshare.org. If you have a Bookshare.org account, Search. you're going to type, click right here on Settings. Settings. Click on Sign In. Sign in. And put in your sign in information. After that, you'll go to Search. search. You'll uh, in, go into the Search field and type in your favorite book. Uh, if you have a Bookshare account, it's free. And finally, uh, you'll go to your bookshelf, bookshelf. right there. And uh, again, that was settings, uh, search, and bookshelf. Click on it, and this is Harry gold Potter right here. This is Harry Potter right here. Uh, I'm going to push. It's got a built-in reader with a bouncing ball. Push this play button right here. Not that his whole year at Hogwarts had been fun. At the very end of last... Pause it with that. That's the next page button. And that's the next sentence button. And you're off. Uh, what, a great, what a great reading tool this is. So assistive technology is a little bit like Sudafed. Uh, they don't really want it, but it's really good for them. Uh, if, uh, it's, it's not Xbox. It's tools to help them read them right. Uh, but if parents and teachers um, encourage its use, uh, it can really help.